What's up, YouTube? <sighs> I'm so lazy today. I know I look like literal dog water right now, but we're gonna ignore it. It's okay. Today I wanted to do like a full coverage makeup look, so I want to take you with me. For the foundation, I'm gonna be using this Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm fucking obsessed with it. It's kind of drying a little bit, so you gotta make sure you're using like a hydrating primer. I'm gonna go do my brows off camera real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So for the concealer, I just use this Fenty Beauty Concealer. It's like the most full coverage that I have. Obviously, I need it for my brows. Um, we're gonna go straight in with this foundation. I'm gonna actually try to put this on my hand. I hate putting makeup on my hand. Like my hands just like too dry for this shit. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. And like I don't know how much to put on my hand. And I feel like I waste product when I put on my hand. Like I put this much. I don't even know. I really don't know. And I know this beauty blender looks fucking disgusting at this point. For the next video, or by the next video, I'm gonna definitely have switched this shit up. I'm just too lazy to get up right now. And I've been moving like literally a thousand and one times. So I have like all my clean like beauty blenders and powder puffs and everything that I like. I have like a ton of them. They're all just like stacked up, like waiting for me to use them, but I literally been moving so many times that I don't even know like where I put them anymore. So that's really the reason why this looks as disgusting as it does. And that's why my powder puff, which you're about to see that. I'll put it on my forehead too, because I feel like it's a little darker than the concealer. So this is what it's looking like so far. I feel like I look crazy. Like that's the thing with like full coverage, like products, like the in-between. Like, when you're in the process, I feel like you look fucking nuts. Like always, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Amber Suede, number nine. I'm literally almost out. I already have another one ready to go. And then I'm gonna just go in with this Morphe M4. You know, I think I've been saying M489, but I think it's actually M439. Whatever, it's this brush, you can just like look for it. Now I'm gonna go in with this powder bronzer. I'm gonna be using this House Labs Medium Level 8 bronzer, which looks like this. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush. It doesn't have like any numbers or anything, so, but it's like this angled like contour brush. And I'm gonna just press that into my contour just to kind of like set it in place and then also I don't know it's kind of like a bronzer but it's really like still contour I'm literally obsessed with the house labs powders too because they just like melt straight into your skin also normally i don't really do like a forehead bronzing moment i used to do it like back in the day but now i don't really do it anymore to be honest but since this is like full coverage i'm gonna just do it on like the little like corners for nose contour i also use this i use this for like literally everything and i'm gonna use this it cosmetics brush in c7125 it's the airbrush shadow it's like this square like fluffy brush i don't think it's for nose contour but i use it for nose contour so like i already put the fancy nose contour and just like blended that all over my nose but now i'm gonna actually go in and like start defining like building my nose so i just start at the bottom and i create like this little v like you can either just make like a straight line let me zoom you guys up all right so you could either just make like a straight line across but i kind of like to make like this little like y like or like v type of shape and i like drag it down on this little like middle part just that it's all like you know seamless but i don't know this kind of just like lifts and gives like the illusion that your nose doesn't go as like far down as it actually does and then i like to create like this line so if you were to like push your nose up like where would it like crease that's kind of like where you want to create like this crease yeah i just start like building like a little line and you can add honestly like nose contours like very personal i feel like people like to come for me in the comments sometimes saying that my nose contour is too crazy but um usually it's just like a filter that's doing that 
because I like to do my nose contour exactly like how the TikTok filters are. So then when it's nose contour plus filter, it like looks extra crazy. But I personally also just do like kind of like a more intense nose contour because I like to literally create like a whole other nose shape. And I get a lot of compliments on it too. So like this is really for you guys. Like <laughs> not for the haters, it's for the people that actually want to learn how to do it. So when you create this line, you also want to blend it onto the sides and create like a little like circle. You want like a little like button nose, like or at least I do. And also like nose contour depends on like your nose shape. You know what I'm saying? Like some nose contour doesn't look good on like everybody. Then after that, I like to start from the bottom and like start dragging it up. And like everybody has like this little like area right here where the nose bridge turns into like your brow bone. Uh, so you want to kind of just follow that with your brush and kind of just drag it up into like your eye and like your brow area. And then I like to just blend out like the sides. I like the inside to be kind of like harsh because I'm gonna go in with highlighter and then I feel like it kind of like softens things up a little bit. But I, like I said, I like my nose contour to look like pretty intense because then it looks like I literally got a nose job. I feel like that already makes like a huge difference. Obviously we're not done, so don't don't get scared. The outside doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, and then if it is like a little too harsh, like you can always just run your brush over like the lines and it should start to soften them. I don't know if you see where I'm holding the brush, but I'm holding it at the end. So if you wanna have like a light hand, like if you have a super heavy hand and you wanna make it less heavy, then you wanna hold it further away from like here. Like here you're gonna have a super heavy hand and here you're not gonna have such a heavy hand. So for blending, I always like to hold it at the end. Also to blend it like a little more, I always like to take like my blush and kinda just blend it over like my nose contour as i'm putting it on like the rest of my face so i'm gonna put it on my cheeks like this and then just like run it over and i feel like it kind of just like diffuses everything a little more um and this is the mac totally synced glow play blush it's like a cream but i think it turns into like a powder i really like it but yeah, I just like run that over my nose and I feel like it blends everything out like perfectly. Uh, we're gonna take a break on the nose contour because I kind of do it like in in steps. Like the nose contour doesn't just happen all in like one step. So I'm gonna go in with this Dior blush and then I'm gonna just tap that onto my cheeks. And for this, I don't really tap it onto my nose because I feel like that's too much. Now I'm gonna take this LA Girl Pro Conceal in like the pink and I'm gonna put this down here under. Since it's pink, it kind of gives you like that pink under eye moment. So it's like super brightening and it blends really pretty into the blush. For the rest of my face where I want to highlight and like bring out like the high points of my face, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Concealer in 150. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in with this same little beauty blender. So also, okay, so now we're back onto like the nose contour. So I like to take these little sponges and I like stamp whatever concealer is left from blending this part. I like to stamp it where we blended it out to like soften everything at the beginning. I like to stamp it and create like a little like line and so it cleans everything up and I feel like this part really like snatches your nose. And you can bring it all the way down but since I made like that little like button nose like rounded moment, I kind of just slowly start blending it into like the outside and I like to take the concealer down into like my smile lines a little bit. Just like that. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, I'm gonna start stamping like around my nose. And it's really just with like leftover product so that it doesn't look like a harsh line. And I like to kind of blend it into the contour, but I don't like to like erase all the contour that I already did. But yeah, I feel like it just like highlights and brings everything like forward that needs to. So now because I have super crazy eye bags, I'm gonna just put the Fenty concealer right above the line where I have like that hollowness, like the crease. And I'm gonna just blend that kind of like in place. Now I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier powder and this powder puff that's like fucking disgusting. It looks like this, I've shown it like a thousand times in my videos. It's this one right here. So I just stamp it and bring it down and start pressing it into the skin. I don't really bake, so like this powder is honestly gonna stay. And I like to bring the powder down onto my blush and I like to just set everything that I've put concealer. Like look at this side. 
And look at this one. This powder is amazing. It's super blurring. I literally love it. And I'm gonna also just set and bring the powder onto my nose contour because I don't really like a shiny nose contour. I feel like it kind of takes away from the whole point because otherwise it's kind of like highlight and doing like the reverse. I'm gonna just add a little bit of this. I don't know if I should do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this Patrick Ta She's a Doll blush. And I'm gonna use like the bottom of my beauty blender for the foundation. And I'm gonna just tap it. I'm gonna just tap it really lightly onto like the higher parts of my cheeks where I had the blush. Just kind of like bring it back to life because I feel like sometimes the setting powder will kind of like mute it. But I feel like the blush lasts all day when you do it like this. Now, to also bring like more life back into my face instead of having it like fully matte, I'm gonna use this cookie highlight from Benefit and I'm gonna just. I literally love this highlight too. Like, what the hell? Cute. I'm gonna put it on my chin and then I'm gonna also put this on my nose. So this is like the final step of the nose contour. So I'm gonna take like this little like pointy fluffy brush and I'm gonna just highlight my nose. Basically what I like to do because I do like the button nose contour. I do like a little exclamation point. So I do like the dot and then I draw like a line dead in the center and this part you have to like take your time with because this could like make or break your nose contour because if you do this part crooked it's gonna make your whole thing look crooked and then I like to add highlight on my brow bone and then I like to put it on my inner corners and then whatever's left over I like to put it on top of my lips this is like the full base like for the full coverage look but I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera so I'm gonna just do like the eyes and the lips and I'll be right back all right, I'm back. Um, anyways, I did my eyes, I did my lips. Oh, I need... As always, I'm gonna use this Morphe setting spray. Somebody please get me a fan. Uh, this is not how I'm doing my hair. I just had this up for, like, the video, but... To be honest... Okay, fine, I'll, I'll actually do it. I was like, I'm not in the mood to fucking do this shit right now. But, uh, I need to do it anyway, so I guess... Okay, so I'll be back. Yeah, this is the full look. It's pretty drying though, so just like I said, um, make sure you use like a hydrating primer. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I would still like definitely use like a heavy duty moisturizer though, because this <laughs> this is not enough. Like this double wear foundation is extremely matte, so I feel like this would be good for all my oily skin girlies. But for the dry skin girlies like me, make sure you come strapped strapped up with some moisturizers because uh let me know what you think let me know if you recreate it or if you try it out let me know what you think about like the foundation the products hope you have a good day mm -hmm.